Yo, Jay. How's it going, nigga? What's up, man? Can you hear me? I'm good, man. How are you? All right, cool. I'm doing great, man. I'm blessed, man. Thanks, like, thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me, man. This is crazy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm blessed, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me, man. This is crazy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me, man. This is crazy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me, man. This is crazy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me, man. This is crazy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me, man. This is crazy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for How's it going, guys? Oh, poo, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. Y'all hear him? All right, cool. We good. So, all right, so first off, um, I would like for you to introduce yourself, let the fans know what you do, and also let them know how cool Viral Rule is. I love that yeah. shit, man. It's hot, man. So let me know. Awesome. Appreciate it. Hey, guys. So, this is Jason. Uh, I'm sort of heading up our growth here at Viral Rule. We are a leader, leading native video advertising network. That focuses on helping musicians, bands, rappers, country music stars get discovered. All right, cool, cool, no problem. So the first thing I want to the first thing I want to say is this: um, there's a lot of companies out there right now that's you know trying to do the do the things that you guys is doing. You know, what I'm saying help a lot of startup companies and a lot of people who get recognized and stuff like that. So the first thing that a lot of fans will like want to know right off the bat: why viral? You know what I'm saying? What's yeah. the, what about viral that's gonna help me get viral? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, what's yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, so look, look, man. Like, we focus on three things for musicians. We've worked with some of the biggest labels in the industry. We've worked with some of the biggest artists in the industry. We've worked with some of the smallest and got them to go really viral, right? And so, okay. I think you guys care about three main things, right? So the first is to get your music in front of your potential fans. We do that by reaching across our blogs, our websites, our mobile apps, our games. Right, really targeting your audience, people that will be your fans, right? Have the potential to be your fans. Get right. your music videos seen by them, right? You really want to focus on getting your name out there with viral. Okay. Right. The second thing that you typically will want to do is grow your YouTube channel, right? You're creating all this amazing content, these hot music videos, right? Yes. You're wanting this shit to be seen. You don't want it to go right? waste. <laughs> you want it to see, it, right? And you want you want subscribers to continuously view this, right? You want to see it over and over. Hey become addicted and ultimately you want to make some cash of right? course of you course that's sell, always you nice want sell your music. <laughs> you want to sell your music right and so we actually have uh, you know some really custom functionality for you that will enable you to you know pop in an iTunes link <coughs> click the download without having to go away from the page anything right you just click play on the video they love your music that's a given right we yeah. know that you're you're hot boom click iTunes and you're done all right, cool. That sounds crazy. That sounds great, man. So, um, I'm pretty sure you know you have quite a few case studies and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think a lot of the people would be interested in one or maybe two case studies that yeah. you could kind of like share with us, so we could kind of like see what the process is like. If Absolutely. you got two case studies, that'd be great, just so we can see how your company works well with different type of genres and people and personalities. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. I mean, on the on the major record label side, I mean Troy Carter. He's uh, Lady Gaga's manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He's an investor in us. He's a homie. We love the guy. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to the homie. Yeah, no exactly. He, he's a he's a big 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 guy for us. We love him. Um, so we've done a ton of stuff with with his artists, right? And so uh, the ceremonies, right? Huge yeah. band that he started to promote under their album under their label, right? And we totally blew him up. Got him over a million views on their videos. That's right? crazy. A million views. A million views, insane, right? And these guys are, you know, a band that tried to make it big. Got on. Got hooked up with Troy. We hooked up Troy and that team, and you know, they're they're they went onto the top charts in iTunes. It was insane, right? So wow. they did a really good job. Now that's um, an amazing case study. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, right? And then, uh, I mean, we've done some stuff with Snoop Dogg and T-Pain oh, and all these guys as well. Snoop, so. big shout out to uh, Snoop, man. He loves video games too, man. So yeah, big shout does, out to Snoop. He does love video games. So, you know, we've done some pretty incredible stuff there. Um, and then I think, uh, you know, a great sort of second uh, case study, which we always like to highlight, um, is uh, a, a, an artist called Engine, uh spelled E-G-I-N-E. Uh, mm. We actually got her uh, over 4 million YouTube views, right? Wow. Um, she was the most viewed video on MTV. She was on the what? radio. Um, she had a number of offers from numerous record labels, right? And it was all by, we focused on building her fan base and really driving people to her Facebook page, right? And from there, she got in a song with T-Pain, songs called Moon of Dreams. Um, so incredible, right? And, and that's a huge, we had over 46,000 Facebook shares, uh, excuse me, likes and 5,500 Facebook shares, so it was crazy. 
Yo, now that's insane. So now, like, when it comes to the video games, because, you know, that's who I am, hip hop gamer. Yeah. So all I do is make songs for games. I play the games all day, do reviews and all of that. So uh -huh. when it comes to games, you know what I'm saying? Like, even right now with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One being out there and stuff like that, you know, how could a company like Bob Rule take a, take a game or take a personality in gaming or, like, take that particular genre? to the next level like is it something where you sit down with the actual person and figure out a game plan and go do it or is it just i'll pay you to do this and you do that like like what type of relationship do you actually build with the people that you know that you work with in order to see see these dreams come true yeah absolutely i mean ultimately our number one goal is to make you the next video sensation right yeah uh, yeah so when you think about it, like we'll spend time with you really hammering out for us, we want to identify number one, who are your influencers, right? Before you launch this YouTube masterpiece, before you really get your music video seen, you need to identify who are your influencers, who are similar musicians in the category, right? Yeah. Who are similar artists that, that you have seen succeed? And we'll sit down with you guys and really figure that out. We want to rally the troops. Yeah, right? yeah. No, that's because good. That's a good idea, yeah. Rally the troops, right? You really want to find someone who you know, email your fan list, invite the followers, like, you know, or use a platform like by rule to really get these troops really rallied and moving in one direction around you, around your music, right? Yeah. Um, and then we'll figure out a plan because we want to accelerate in the first 24 hours. Uh, that's when, you know, YouTube algorithms have really high rates of views, likes, comments, and shares, and that's when you get on those top charts. And so you oh. really need to be in the first 24 hours um, having a spike. Now, let me ask you this, because I think this would be interesting. Um, I've never seen a company do this. That's why i got to ask you this question, because if, if this is something that you actually do or, or may have thought of, this could be really great. Do you guys actually look for talent that you can actually offer your um, assistance to, or do you just wait for certain people come to you to use your service? Because I think that with a service like yours, there's a lot of talent out there that's, it, 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 I always, I always bring this up, like, cause like Biggie Smalls is one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying, from Brooklyn, you know, Biggie Smalls is one of my favorite rappers, right, love Biggie, love Pi, yeah. you know, big pun everybody, and the thing yeah. is, when you look at them, or if you look at someone like a Michael Jordan who's great, you know, at what he do, um, these people, as talented as they are, like, if, if Puffy wasn't there for Biggie to showcase his talent to the world, then Biggie would just be another nice rapper but stuck in the hood and nobody would know who he is just locally. Like, you know what I'm saying? So my yep. thing is, it took Puffy, like, it took somebody to put him in front of Puffy's face and then Puffy extended what his resources were to take Biggie to the next level. So yep. what I want to ask you as a company, do you guys ever search and look for, like, the next big potential talent and then offer your services and work on a deal that way? Yeah, so, um, I mean, it's a great question. Uh, we were, we're a small team doing as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs> I respect <laughs> that. Um, so, so currently, we, we've had a lot of people come to us, right? Like, we have incredible amounts of demand from music, musicians and gamers um, to really come out and use viral services. Yes. Uh, so we, we haven't uh, gone out necessarily and, and found... Um, you know, found the next star, like, a, you know, found this guy on the street and shot a music video for him and yeah, yeah, used yeah. our services, right? Um, but that said, uh, you know, we definitely have reached out in the past to, like, hey, I heard this song X, Y, and Z where on, on YouTube, on the radio, whatever, would reach out to an individual artist. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're focused on building, building the next YouTube stars, right? Like, we wouldn't have a business without it. And so um, we always have our eyes and ears to the ground trying to figure out what's going on, who's hot, who's moving, um, what are some top charts, and then we'll reach out and, and see if there's an opportunity to work together. Now, one thing about Bob Rule that I really like is your presentation. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the yeah. videos, I see how you guys are, and what I really like about y'all is that y'all real people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't really feel like y'all selling me something. I feel yeah. like y'all like, yo, look, this is what we do. We love what we do. If you want to get involved, let's get it popping. Like, that's how I yeah. feel. And that's important yeah. to me because I like to work with people that I feel like I can have a conversation with and yeah. not just a business conversation, but just, hey, man, come to my house. I got video games to play. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like something, yeah. you know, I think that's a, a great, a great energy. So here's what I would say uh, in terms of the viral company. Um, when you look at 
the industry now, when you look at brand new companies, uh, whether it's Interscope, you know, Shady Aftermath for Eminem, or if you look at Def Jam and all these companies. And we don't go to Def Jam. Uh, oh, oh, or shout out to Def Jam. Those are my people yeah. over there. I got tons of people over at Def Jam, so shout out to them. Also, shout out to Def Jam Vendetta. That's one of my favorite games yeah. ever when I was a kid. Hell yeah. Awesome, so, <laughs> word up, man. So, the thing is, uh, when I look at these record labels, right, you know, in this day and age, you know, thank God for great technology and, you know, powerful brains out there. Um, they're not as needed as they used to be. Like, when it comes to the major labels, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, they still exist and they always will, but they're not as needed as, you know, before. Do you, do you guys see yourselves actually, like, you know, um, doing something like how a label would and actually like sign on talent and be their mm -hmm. representation and be their backing mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Because I'm yeah, telling you, you right idea. now, you this, idea. this is why I want to talk to y'all. I really want to talk to y'all because um, I've I've reached out um, to you guys before. I'm not sure who um, I spoke to or whatever, but um, I reached out to you guys before, but I didn't get a chance to really, you know, click and talk. And then when I got the email about everything that's going on with you guys, I was like, yo, this God is good. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I was like, I got to talk to you guys. Because honestly, what I do has never been done. And I really want to work with you guys too. But to finish up the interview, <laughs> like, yeah. but to finish up the interview, have you guys ever thought about taking, you know, that route and being an actual, you know, like management company alongside of what you have to offer with a lot of uprising talent out there? Because... The, to me, your bread and butter is showing the world great shit. That's your bread and butter. So if a person yeah. is already great, all you gotta do is be like, yo, come in. Like you know what I'm saying? Grab them up and show it off. I think That's if good. you, I, I, I would love to see, by a rule, have a have a part in their company that will allow someone to sign on. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And really have that, uh, like a contractual agreement. Where you could represent them business wise like that with whatever they do. Like, have Absolutely. you guys even thought about that? Or what? how does that sound to you? Yeah, no, it's a fantastic idea. I mean, I think we can definitely explore so many different avenues in which we can go. Um, look, like, Baru is another tool, and you do as an artist, your tool set. That's mm, the number one thing. I like that. We can get you seen. That's so simple, right? Like, we can get you noticed. We can get you in front of potential fans. We can grow a fan base for you, okay. right? Um, so we are, we have those elements of what a record label would do. Like we, we, we don't have the production capabilities necessarily in house, right? Okay. You could come to us with the, with the, with the production, with the video that we love that's hot and we're going to help you out. We're going to hook you up. It's that simple, right? Okay. Now so it's a great, it's a great idea, but now, we, would, we would love, we would love to work with you guys. Now I'm going to tell you something right now. Um, and this is very important to me, but are you a gamer? Oh, yeah. I'm not a gamer. Or? <laughs> you came in. Electronic Arts, the truth revealed. Oh, we're, oh wait, oh, you was in? No. <laughs> no, I saw your, uh, I saw your, this is what the video you ran with us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so, Call of Duty, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. You know what it is. All right, cool. Yo, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, man, like, the reason why I wanted to bring this up because gaming is the biggest form of entertainment. It's bigger than music and movies combined and stuff like that. Yep. And not only is there a ton of personalities, but there's a ton of developers that's on Kickstarter right now trying to get known, trying to get seen, trying to do some amazing things. And I had a few conversations with these people and I brought you guys up. I was like, yo, do you know <laughs> by rule? And they was like, nah, I never heard of our rule. And I was like, see, that's the fucking problem right there. Everybody needs to know who you are because of what you yeah. do and what you can provide. And that's why my earlier question was, do you look for these people too so it could be a two-way street? Now, Absolutely. now me, I search everything and everywhere because I'm a journalist. So all I do yeah. is research everything. So yeah. I, I came across a lot of people. Also, virtual reality is a big push right now with the Oculus and Project Morpheus with PlayStation. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So Oculus is incredible. Yes, yeah, incredible. incredible. Dude, dude, oh my god. It's like, oh, <laughs> yo, Oculus is crazy. So my thing is, what I wanted to ask you, a lot of these companies that they, they got Kickstarter campaigns, they got these great ideas, but they don't have the money to start it themselves, but they got great ideas. Do you yeah. guys have ways where a person can work with you, even if they don't have a budget to pay you out the pocket? 
if they want, but they have something great that with the right amount of money, it you know, it, or with the right about with the right amount of um, advertisement, and they get seen by the right people, then you know it could blow up and the money will come in and people will be wanting to invest, and then you get a share yeah. after that. Do you guys have a um, or or are willing to even put yourselves out there like that as a company to be like, hey, look. To get you four million views and get what you need to be seen, it of course this. But instead of you paying me up front, let's get you there and then have a investor or someone that's excited yeah. about what you're doing invest in it, and then you get paid there.